guys, that's your command today. We're going to reach out Legends with another champion guy, this time on Cardinal. Cardinal, a sacred order, epic, void affinity, really unique reviver in a lot of ways that we'll discuss in today's video. But first, shout out to some of you guys. We have Noob Gamer Day 2 asking for Cardinal. And then we have Dale Holiday. Hey, could you do a video on Cardinal? Please ask and you shall receive. Let's take a look at Cardinal. Alright guys, so Cardinal is a Sacred Order, as I mentioned, a Void Epic Champion. Uh, aesthetically, she's pretty cool. She's, you know, got the little shroud or the hood or whatever, little red riding hood, little orange riding hood uh, vibe going on a little bit here uh, in the Sacred Order. Let's see the reviews. They say, you know, uh, Arena Defense, Faction Wars, Arena Offense, Campaign Locations. Of course, we'll go ahead and give our recommendations. Take a look and see what HellHades.com recommends as well. Base stats here, 17k on the HP. 1,000 on the attack, 1143 on the defense, and 104 on the speed. So, um, overall, we don't care that much about her stats. She's a super, super, super easy champion to build. I'm just going to say right out the gate here, guys, Cardinal is definitely a champion that you can get away with running at level 50, running without masteries, and running without books. She's really unique in that regard. I would not throw a bunch of resources into her unless you're absolutely, you know, trying to rely on her in other areas uh, than what she's known for, which is the arena, right? So, Evaporation on an A1 attacks one enemy, has a 20% a chance of placing a big version of Poison Debuff for two turns. She can be a decent uh, reviver and healer and increased defense champion for early uh, clan boss. Uh, she's doesn't scale up that well beyond that though uh she does bring the poison as well if you do want to land the poison you do need accuracy however we're not going to be focused on any sort of an accuracy build a 20 percent chance of one poison on one attack is not worth it on mending touch a three turn cooldown heals a target ally by 30 percent of their max hp and then places an increased defense buff for two turns big version it's a good support ability ideally we'd have the heal based on on her max hp but either way you get a nice little heal and you get an increased defense which is really valuable granted a single target redemption a five turn cooldown when booked revives all dead allies heals them by 25 of their max hp and boosts their turn meter to max so it's basically an aoe revive with 25 percent hp and a boost turn meter to max means that they automatically go next it's it's weird that it's worded this way and this game has some funky stuff like this but it would be different if they're, uh, you know, uh, boost their turn meter to 100%. If it said that, uh, if there was already a champion waiting to go in the queue, right? The the kind of underneath the hood, who uh, an enemy, a champion, for example, who already had a uh, 100% turn meter and they're next in line and going after Cardinal, she would revive. They would get boosted to 100% turn meter, but in the interim, the enemy would be able to go. I guess what I'm trying to say here is she's the only reviver that whoever she revives in the entire game, whoever she revives is guaranteed to go next, no matter what after her revival is done. That's what gives her some really cool uh, outplay potential. So let's go ahead and take a look at her here. Now, I say, you know, arena, we're going to be focused only on the arena because that's where she's used in the mid and the end game. But if you have her in the early game and you're lacking a reviver, She's kind of got you covered, you know? She can be decent for dungeon progression. Uh, again, I don't want to overstate it. We're talking early game here, but there's no reason that we can't take advantage of her kit in other areas. Again, I would say uh, Ice Golem. You can use her in some Doom Tower areas. Magma Dragon. Uh, help her. Single target heals. So anybody who's provoking or anything like that, you can basically concentrate your increased defense and your heal on one specific champion. Uh, so Magma, uh, they give her a four star and Scarab King and Frost Spider. Actually, a little bit better reviews than I would have thought here in terms of different areas of the game outside just the arena. She's not a live arena champion. You can see she's really not being picked uh, or used or winning uh, when she is getting picked in Gold 1. Gold 2, even worse. If we look at like Silver 4, again, not too great in terms of the win rate. Silver 3, same deal. Silver 2, same deal. Uh, pretty bad win rates. And the reason is... Not because she's not a great arena champion. She is a great arena champion. But when you show your hands, so to speak, 
when the other person drafting against you knows what you're going to do or knows who you're using, they're going to plan for that, right? So they're going to use like a block revive champion or they're going to lock down her skills or use a Yameka, blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of ways to deal with a Cardinal if you know it's coming. But we're going to talk about how to mitigate that in today's video too, just in case you do want to give her a shot in Live Arena. Uh, obviously, she has a four multiplier on her A1. Uh, I, I will say it's noteworthy for one reason. Her base attack is a thousand for a support champion. That's not bad. And with a four multiplier plus the poisons, again, I'm kind of doubling down on early game clan boss champion with the increased defense and the heal there too. Uh, but that's about it. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at her. Do I even have master? I do have masteries on her. So like I said, super easy champion to build. I'm going to assume you guys don't care about the 20% chance or 10% chance of poison on her A1. So there's no need for accuracy. In terms of blessings, I went commanding presence. I think it's the way to go for her. Strengthening your aura. Aura, again mostly used in the arena however if you are using her for pvp pve excuse me areas dungeons etc uh for progression i don't think there's anything wrong with going with dark resolve uh or going with indomitable spirit uh or even miracle heal so it just depends on what you would need take your time read your blessings read your masteries figure out what makes the most sense for where you're using these champions all right i went commanding presence masteries Defense support. Now, like I said, easy to build. All we really care about, we don't even matter. Speed doesn't even matter that much, right? So, all we really care about is HP, defense, maybe a little bit, some survivability, in other words, right? So, that gives us the luxury of really stacking up a lot of resistance on her. The worst thing that can happen to a Cardinal team is if you're running a Cardinal Arena team and they're running a Yameko or an Alika or a Basher or a Crixia, basically somebody's gonna who's gonna put her skills on cooldown, kill everybody, and then she's got no redemption to use, no A3, no revival, right? So for that reason, we build her with a lot of resist as well. So I went down, I picked up Unshakable. I want to reiterate though, you really don't have to pick masteries at all with Cardinal. You know, if you want to, go for it. But it's not necessary. I don't feel like it's a nice to have, but it's not imperative. I put her in a six-piece stone skin. Uh, why not? I want to keep her alive at all costs, right? In the arena, she can't die. Everybody else can die. She can't die. She can't get CC'd. Everybody else can. She can't. So for that reason, I'm really prioritizing resistance when building her. I love stone skin. I love resistance. If you don't have stone skin, you want to use her in the in the early game progression. Go with just uh, immortal gear or life gear, even right. Just go with tanky stuff, defense gear, right? Uh, we have resistance on the banner. We have HP on the amulet. We have defense on the ring. We have speed on the boots. We have resistance on the chest, and we have HP percentage on the gauntlets. Biggest thing I'm looking for here is is resistance substats or main stats, right? All right, guys, here we are in the arena. I made myself a little bit smaller so you can see everything that's going on. Uh, we're going to try a bunch of different combinations, a bunch of different teams. The cool thing about Cardinal is she fits in with, with pretty much every team, you know? You can stick her in to go first, to go second, an unorthodox, crazy team like this one. It doesn't really matter. There's, you know, she's, she's going to be useful and she's going to do the same exact thing no matter what. So here we go, guys. We come in. Okay, everybody's dead. Great. Oh, oh, by the way, one thing you do have to keep an eye on is any block revives, obviously, right? But now, they go first. It's a go first team, right? And they're dead because they killed me. And they shouldn't have killed me <laughs> because I can come in here now and, well, kill them. I'm actually going to come in with the A3 of Sun Wukong because, well, it still deals a nice amount of damage, as you can see. And we're going to be guaranteed to go next anyway, right? So let's go Nogdara and just end them, right? All three of my champions, whoever they are, it doesn't matter. I have three random champions here. Uh, let's go against another go first team. Uh, Jirgid can ignore stone skin, so we do have to be careful of him. I like having that high resist because of just like this, right? She could have been, uh, she could have had her stone skin removed by Kaimar. Could have had all kinds of wonky things happening, but none of it happened. It's okay. Everybody died. We're going to revive everybody and everybody's going to go next. We're going to come in here again, steal all those buffs, come in and nuke. We'll sacrifice uh, Nogdar the headhunter. Oh, he got the two. It's okay. Oh, I, I forgot. I really screwed up there, guys, but I think we're still going to win this one. My cooldowns were way off. <laughs> it's nice to have Sun Wukong on the team because he can uh, he can certainly help out. Uh, let's go in. 
She can also use her A2 on herself. Noteworthy there. All right, let's do one more uh, battle with this team against another go first team here. Uh, let's go a little, let's, let's, uh, a Taurus team. Let's up the ante a little bit, right? Okay. Taurus with Archmage Helmet is a pretty good combo. Constant Pressure is going to hit really hard, and it does, but hey, uh, you can only use it once, and now we get everybody back, and you guys know the drill. We'll steal their buffs, and we'll, uh, we'll kill everybody. Let's go ahead and kill Nogdar. Let's bring Nogdar back. Let's steal, uh... Taurus is HP. Come in, nuke everybody down. Let's mess up with the team a little bit here, guys. Let's go with, uh, I don't know. Let's get Valkanin out. Let's get Nogdar out. Let's keep Sun Wukong in. Let's go with, I have Hefrak and Stoneskin as well. Hefrak with Stoneskin and Cardinal is a really fun combination. You guys will see. Uh, where are you, Mr. You know what? I can run like a UDK in there too. You can run tanky. I think some people think that you just need to run super squishy champions alongside Cardinal. You don't have to. It's it's cool. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> you can run tankies, and when they die, you can revive them right back up. And where the heck is my half rack? I thought he was plus. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right. So we're gonna switch things up a little bit here. Half rack is uh. It's pretty cool. I have a two-turn stone skin as well, as well as UDK. So everybody's rocking the stone skin. Let's come in here and turn UDK into a sheep. Uh, now, we don't really need to heal anybody or anything here. So let's just go in. Let's go. Yeah, sure. Let's try to kill Atrodite. What's his freaking name again? Oh, they don't have names here. All right. And Androdite. I haven't done the guide on that guy. I haven't built this guy. Arch Archidite? What was his name? <laughs> anyway, uh, I digress. Come back in here, steal all their buffs, or anything that's not protected at least. Go ahead, kill Sun Wukong. Or you can't, actually, can you? We can heal him, sure. So, again, the point I guess I'm trying to make here is that, you know, you, you can use her as like a failsafe, right? She doesn't have to die. Again, a lot of survivability is great. Uh as well as a lot of resistance, right? No one's going to come in here and mess with my cardinal. No one's going to disrupt what I want to have happen here. Uh, now we can come in. We can finally self-buff and end things, hopefully, close to. Now we can end things. Uh, let's go one more time with this team. This is a fun team. Let's try to find a, a little bit of a better team here. Uh, this is a good one right here, right? Now they have a Lydia. I'm purposely picking out a Lydia team because... Oh, I, I mentioned this before, but whenever I do a team about Cardinal or about Sun Wukong or whatever, inevitably some people would be like, yeah, until you run into a Lydia, then you're screwed, Ash. And the thing is, is not not really, man. I mean, Lydia's uh, passive is on a nine-turn cooldown. <laughs> that's a long cooldown, man. You can kill him once, but that's about it, right? Oh, I should have, uh, well, I did attack UDK, and I just didn't get the 50-50. It's cool. Uh, let's come in here with a little bit of buffage. Let's just A1 here. It's going to be rerouted to UDK anyway. All right. So Sun Wukong's almost dead, which is great. It's actually ideal that he doesn't die right away, because we'd rather him... Oops. I kind of got my turn meters messed up there, but it's okay, or my turn's messed up on Hefrak. We'd rather them die now when they don't have stone skin and all their buffs up. Uh, look at that HP, man. Come on. Come on. All right. Hey, we get another turn out of him before he goes down. Okay, finally goes down. Hefrak gets auto-activated, and that is going to be all she wrote. Now, unfortunately, he's going to trigger himself, unless we kill him right now. He's going to trigger Sun Wukong reviving uh, uh, What's-Her-Face again. But we can just revive him right afterwards, and we can just come in here and kill, you know? So again, Lydia is not... I don't, I don't know how you guys feel, but I don't look at Lydia as anything scary at all in the arena anymore. Uh, even with Sun Wukong, he revives so often that it's not... It's not a hard counter. Lydia is not a hard counter, you know? Uh, let's go ahead and do one more team here. I don't know, want to do a super fast bomb team? Let's try it out. We don't have any cleansers on the team, but the, you know what we do have, guys? We have three stone skins, which is not going to help us out against bombs at all. 
But as long as we can keep Cardinal alive and resist the bombs, which she just did because we built her with high resist, going to be A-OK, -okay, right? This is another reason that if you're going to run anybody, for that matter, in Stone Skin, it would behoove you. It's probably a smart idea to go in there and uh, build them with high resist, right? Got to be careful of those bombs. Uh, let's, I lied. I want to do, I want to do like a couple more. This is actually, look at this. Another Cardinal team. Let's do some Cardinal on Cardinal action here, guys. What do you say? I think she's so much fun. And the thing is, is we're not even, you know, a team like this, we're not abusing her ability like we were, you know, previously. She uses Redemption. Everybody comes in. My team's just a little bit better. I don't know. How do I say this nicely? <laughs> it's a little bit better developed, right? A lot of stone skin, a lot of synergy. Everybody's synergizing with somebody else, right? Uh, now we can come in, sheeper, get rid of the stone skin, and we can turn it on auto. I think you guys get the point. I could be here all day with Cardinal stuff, man. She's so cool. Uh, again, she's not like super meta, but you can easily, if you don't have the best speed gear, I'm going to do one more because I saw one more Shazar bomb team here. If you don't have the best speed gear and you want to farm your great haul, you're going to have to develop other strategies than just load up speed gear and nuke away, right? You need to develop other stuff. So teams like these, right? It doesn't have to be this team, but teams like these, super great, you know? Like it combats the meta even if you don't have all the best speed gear or any good speed gear on your account. Uh, and you can see I just redemptioned into uh, Lydia yet again for the same reason as last time, right? I'm just clearing the way for him to be able to revive himself, right? So, yeah, guys, I'll turn on auto from here on out. But hey, keep the champion guy request coming. Uh, I think the biggest takeaway from this video is she's awesome. <laughs> stone skin, high resistance. I, I see people build cardinal and stone skin without resistance. To me, it's a big missed opportunity, right? It's a big missed opportunity. Uh, we don't want her skills to go on cooldown or you're screwed, you know? We don't want the stone skin to be removed. And then after that, we don't want, you know, her to be CC'd. So hopefully you enjoyed this guy, guys. Thank you so much for keeping the requests coming in the comments below. Much love, and as always, take care, guys.